Hello everyone, and welcome to Pyanjan's Mods. This is Otaku Showboat, and today we will be discussing aluminium processing in this updated tutorial video. Now, if you have been enjoying these videos thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, I do stream on twitch.tv uh, slash Otaku Showboat, so you can head on over there to leave a follow to be notified when I go live on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyanodon, and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. So, the first thing to mention here is that the aluminium processing chain has not changed in and of itself since the previous original tutorial where I show what this looks like. So you can go back to the version 0.17 video and see what this looks like. What has changed is the release of Pi Alien Life and a few other balancing updates that have happened since then uh, on how to obtain hot air, for example, and also some of the uses of aluminium have changed. So, things like the timing in which you need aluminium has uh, changed, uh, as well as how far up the chain you need to go in order to complete a playthrough of the Pi Suite. So that's what we'll be covering overall today. Uh, starting off, of course, with the pre-red science phase. This is necessary at in the current state of the game because you need a few aluminium plates for specific buildings in order to actually make your red science. Yes, you now you now need to have a little bit of aluminium to make some buildings to make red science from not science going into science. Uh, you can't just handcraft red science now. There are some processes that you will need the aluminium for uh, that cannot be handcrafted. Uh, so you need, you need those buildings. So you need aluminium. Now aluminium is interesting because it requires coal gas to mine it. So your timing on this in the early game is going to be once you are converting your raw coal into coal and into coke using the coal gas from that destructive distillation process to mine the aluminium. You are not going to have 15. Note that uh, I do have a link to my Discord server in the uh, description below this video where I have posted this exact string this exact string in Helmod, right here, this, this production line with the entire production line on it, you can just go there, grab that little text file that has the uh, string in it, copy it, and then paste it in the download upload section into a new production line in Helmod, and you will have access to this. It will not, however, start you with being an ingredient input, so you will need to switch over to ingredient input to put in however much ore. Just click on it and type how much ore uh, you have on your input to get an idea of what your output of plates will be. So at, at the very beginning, this is not going to be 15. It's going to be more like three or so. Uh, so it's a it's just a small trickle, but you don't need a consistent source of aluminium. You just need enough to build the buildings that you need to make a greater than zero quantity of red science. Once you have red science, you get access to other processes that can get you more aluminium. Uh, of course, you also do need aluminium at the beginning for the initial uh, engine units. If I am if I am not mistaken here, if I go into add a recipe and I look at the engine units, uh, these little doohickeys require aluminium plate. Uh, to make so you will definitely start consuming the aluminium plates once you hit red science and once you get engineers because you need them in order to build buildings 
uh, a lot of the Pi Suite buildings will need engine units, specifically jaw crushers, but we're not as concerned with jaw crushers in this example. We do have ball mills, though. I forget off the top of my head all of the ingredients required for all of the buildings. It, like, it's a lot of buildings to keep track of at all the various mark levels, so... Once you are able to make ball mills, and once you are able to make electric arc furnaces, as well as able to make casting units at Red Science, and you pick up the aluminium processing tech at Red Science, you will get access to this recipe. And speaking of sciences, let us look at aluminium. So the level one uh, is going to give you access to molten aluminium from powdered. Uh, as well as a hot air and not hot air method of casting that molten. You also get access to the necessary dual Duralumin recipe that will take your aluminium and copper to make a very useful first alloy for you. This will be the first true alloy uh, in the pie suite that you will make, that you will need, in order to make fast inserters, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff later on down the line. Level Two, at Green Science, is going to give you access to the Pulp Stage 2, the method to get to Pulp Stage 2, as well as Molten Casting of Duralumin with a Hot Air Counterpart. At Level 3, at Blue Science, you get access to everything up to High Grade Alumina, uh, as well as Crystallized Sodium Aluminate in here, as well as Molten Recipes for Crystallized, for High Grade, and for Reduced, because you do technically get access to Reduced Aluminium at Blue Science. This one is unique in that you do get access to Reduction before Centering. So it is one of the very few ore types where reduction will be useful for you once you can actually make a direct reduction plant or a derp. I call it the derp. If you can make it, use it on aluminium. If you need the aluminium, because that's the other slight issue with aluminium, is that it just doesn't have, in the later phases of the game, a very high consumption rate overall compared to everything else so you might not have to go any further you might not even have to go into high grade or crystallized al al aluminate but we'll get into that as we discuss these uh, actual processes note that there is this here tailings to vanadets this is going to be a byproduct of one of these processes that gets uh, available to you at blue science that will give you this tailings byproduct that can lead into a vanadium processing chain, but we're not going to cover that until we go into and talk about vanadium. Uh, and then at yellow sites, of course, you get access to sintering uh, and making molten out of sintered stuff. So that is what is unique about aluminium, is you can go all the way up to reduction at blue science, but... Uh, you know, chances are, at Blue Science, you aren't going to be able to make the direct reduction plants yet, because they require Circuit 3s. So that's more of a purple science phase. That's a production science phase uh, of the game, not a Blue, si Blue Science phase. And it's still, like, if some point years from now you look back at this video and you see me talking about there really being a need for a purple science or processing that is all of the reduction processes for all of the ore types note that this is where i'm saying it right here in this video if it ever comes to pass so you can refer back and be like hey he talked about this potentially needing to be a thing as far back as now and i've even talked talked about this in the past that there should likely be a production science level of ore processing that unlocks reduction separate from centering but that's work that might happen in the future i might do it myself and send it to planeton to get posted onto pyra ores or something at some point but we shall see if i ever have the time to do that 
uh, and if it even is remotely accepted uh, to do that. But anyway, I am digressing a lot. At Red Science, you get access to the powdered aluminium molten casting, which is absolutely necessary if you are going to be using aluminium for anything. At Red Science, note the uh, the difference here between the output between your pre-Red Science and your Red Science molten casting. Yes, that is plus eight plates. That is plus eight plates by comparison. It is massive out of 15 or in input. It is a massive difference. And then we also consider that at pre-red science, you don't really have the capability of having 15 or out unless you're a madman and it can completely insane or mad woman or whatever. Uh, if, you're, if you're completely insane, maybe, but normal circumstances, the average player will not have 15 ore of aluminium. They'll have barely a trickle of aluminium. But at Red Science, you very feasibly can set up 15 uh, or more uh, because you will have access to tar into coal gas uh, in a gasifier uh, at that point, which, uh, yeah, that makes it rather simple. And you need to do that process anyway if you plan on mining anything that uses syn gas, because that'll be your primary coal gas or your syn gas. For all the things that you have to mine that use syngas, uh, and we'll discuss those in the following videos. Now, this will use a lot of borax, so I actually need to add another video update going over borax because I may as well if I'm updating all these videos and some of them the chains haven't actually changed all that much. May as well do borax because I guess how you get the boron is slightly different with all the updates with an additional HCL and, like, other ways of getting refined syn gas and stuff. But regardless, you need a bunch of borax for this. It's 4.5. That's not real. It's not insignificant, uh, considering borax is one of those things that you do need to have syn gas in order to mine. Just keep, keep that in mind. The raw borax is mined with syn gas, and this uses coal gas, too. So, it's like, all this is red, definitely in the realm of red science. You also need graphite, which is coke. So you need a supply of coke to convert into graphite. Uh, and, of course, the powder of the previous step. And you have to deal with this gravel. Don't, don't miss that you have to deal with this gravel somehow. Uh, so you have to make sure that you will have uh, a source of titanium for a burner or something uh, in order to get rid of this gravel. I've, I've tried finding reasonable ways of converting gravel into a fluid of some description. It's not, there's nothing particularly viable uh, for making gravel into some other fluid that you can void without having the need to have burners with their uh, titanium requirement as well as the solid fuel requirement to fuel the things. Uh, so, yep, it, it's, it's unfortunate this is gravel and not stone, because stone you can just throw into a washer and uh, convert it into saline and void that saline. Uh, gravel, though, just burn it. Just burn it if you don't have another use for it. Uh, so then that molten is hot air cast into a whole bunch of plates. Note that you need sand castings, which is tar into creosote into sand castings by, with sand. Uh, so that's that's a pretty simple process to make the sand castings. And uh, yeah, th th there you go. There you go. Note that you'll, at Red Science, need aluminium plate with copper plate to make duralumin as well. So you might want... To have an excess amount of plates with copper to make the duralumin that you need. Now, at Green Science, you will need to upgrade your aluminium processing up to pulp stage two. Because you will need you will need pulp stage one to make elect the uh, capacitor twos or the electrolytic capacitors as they are now called. Uh, as well as MOSFETs uh, for your Circuit 2 processing chain. That's right, you will need to have Aluminium Pulp 1 for your Circuit 2 processing chain. And since you can't do anything with the Pulp 1 otherwise, you may as well take the bulk of it to make Pulp 2 and then make that into Molten and cast that into, you know, twice 
nearly twice the amount of plates uh, as you had in the previous method. Uh, at a cost of less borax and graphite, I might add, at a vast reduction in the cost of borax and graphite to do this, uh, but at the additional cost that you now, in order to actually make your powdered into pulp stage one, need to add in lime. Lime, which is coke and limestone. I guess in Pi Alien Life you do have access to shells, but not really at this point in the game. Uh, coke and limestone. For lime, and then you need phosphoric acid, and going through the entirety of the phosphoric acid processing chain, that we will talk about in a separate tutorial video at some point. And green science is the point where you have, have to do this uh, processing chain to get into phosphoric acid. This is like one of the very few absolutely necessary things that you need phosphoric acid for uh, in order to make your circuit twos through pulp stage one. So bear that in mind. Uh, then it's just adding steam in an agitator. Uh, note the buildings here. We went from fall mill to mixer to agitator. To agitate our pulp one with steam into uh, stage two. And then we can uh, melt it in an electric arc furnace into the molten aluminium and then create our plates from that. Yes, melting a pulp. Melting a pulp. More, more like converting it with electricity from a pulp into a molten metal, I guess. Now, from here uh, is Blue Science. Blue Science begins with the uh, crystallized sodium aluminate process. So we'll go through here and we'll just note that we can go all the way up to reduction, so bear all this in mind when making your decision on where to stop here. I will note, as a new thing added in all of the updates with Pi Alien Life and the rest of the Pi Suite since uh, the previous video, you now need sodium aluminate as an item in order to complete the game. You now need sodium aluminate in order to complete the game. Why? Because you need sodium aluminate to make Dingrit fur. You need sodium aluminate to make Dingrit fur. Now, what does the Dingrit fur get used for? Well, we can go over here and see that it's required for cysteine. Cysteine. Tine? Teen. Cysteine. That's how, that's how I'll pronounce it, anyway. Uh, you need it for that. Primarily. That's that's what you what you really need it for. It's gonna be required for recombinant erythropoietin, as well as antivirals and anabolic RNA and Rika protein and zinc finger fusion proteins and all of that beautiful stuff uh, that's going to be involved in the making of perfect samples for utility science. So that's that's when you'll need it, though, is, uh, is at the point where you're making utility science. So bear that in mind. You do need sodium aluminate in some amounts to make utility science now. But we left off at pulp 2, so let us go down this list from pulp 2. Pulp 2 will need alumac in order to process it further, uh, which is going to be oleochemicals as well as aromatics. By this phase of the game, you probably already have an idea of how to make oleochemicals, uh, as well as aromatics, so I will leave that to you. Just note that you have to add this alumac in a wet scrubber uh, in s not that significant amounts in order to process it into a pulp 3. A and note that you'll, you'll have to deal with iron oxide as well out of this. The pulp 3, uh, and that's done in a leaching station, by the way. You leach it with alumac into the stage 3. And then you agitate again with water, just add water to pulp 3 to make a pulp 4 with tailings. And then you have to hydroclassify with sodium chlorate, which is salt and steam. 
uh, as well as sodium hydroxide, which by this point you should really know how to make. Starch. There are some two ways of making starch. There is the fiber board with powdered releasia seeds, as well as the fiber board with powdered releasia seeds, and sodium sulfate, making 10 starch 5 biomass versus 3 starch 5 biomass. Definitely go the route of the sodium sulfate. Definitely, definitely go the route of the sodium sulfate when and if you get access to it. So, that's that's the starch. That that's your pulp four into the sodium aluminate as well as the aluminium tailings. This is the tailings that will go off into vanadium processing if you want to use them in some form of vanadium processing. It basically skips a big, big chunk of the chain though, so do bear that in mind. The sodium aluminate then gets evaporated with with some pressurized air into crystallized z crystallized sodium aluminate that is where we end on this particular production block because that can be converted directly into molten by adding borax and graphite uh, and then it can be cast into some additional aluminum plates some additional aluminum plates. Now note that everything up to this point is absolutely required in order to complete the game. So you could consider this. At this is a viable option. Considering the not high amounts of aluminum that you ultimately need uh, in a game as plates, this is logically speaking a pretty decent stopping point. But let's have a look at what comes next in high grade. So our sodium uh, aluminate, our crystallized aluminate, in order to make high grade, will require electrolyzing, nichrome, and graphite, and more sodium hydroxide. All three of which you have at this point in the game, but you might have not that easy of a way of getting it to this location, where, wherever you're, do you're doing this. And you have to ask yourself, do I really want to spend Nichrome? Which is one of the most expensive alloys uh, in the entire game. In the Pie Suite. One of the most expensive ones that has a lot of very, very useful uses. Do you want to spend it here? Just just keep, keep that in mind. If the answer is yes and you're okay with spending it, as well as the graphite, as well as the sodium hydroxide, which you already have access to, in this chain, by the way, but both of these items, if you're upgrading uh, into this chain, that's that's the only quote unquote new thing is this nichrome that we're seeing here. So, sure, you can go in and get marginally more, just a, a few more plates out of that. You can get you can get a few more plates out of that for your for your processing. You do need to spend a little bit more hot air though, so bear that in mind when you do this. Now, that's where it would end if you decide to go all the way to high grade at blue science until you get into circuit threes and the stuff you need to make the direct reduction plants because those are a little bit expensive. They are just a, a li little bit expensive to make. But reduction in and of itself is a relatively simple process if you have done it before. And if you have watched the previous videos, uh, the, the most expensive thing here is that it needs a diesel, which there are various, various methods of making diesel, including out of aromatics and hydrogen plus chromium. You know, there's, there's, there's lots of ways, lots of ways. Just take your pick with diesel. Some are better than others in terms of efficiency, but there you go. It is five whole units of diesel. From 15 or in to process the redu the reduced aluminium into even more plates marginally very very small very very small difference between the 29.7 here and the 31.5 that is a tiny difference a tiny difference if you are so inclined to go this route so also keep that in mind now at 
utility science, you then get access to the ability to center that reduced aluminium. And then you can actually convert that into molten aluminium. You do need a center plant for that. And we've seen what all these, what those buildings look like in the past, so we don't need to really show them here again. Uh, borax, graphite, heavy oil at this point. There's, there's an addition that I... Uh, need to note, up to this point, in order to actually make our molten aluminium, we have not needed heavy oil until we got to reduction. So, do note this very key thing here. Our difference between high grade and reduced is a couple plates at best, and you now need to add heavy oil of 10 units into this. So, keep that in mind. Now, centering, of course, Massive, massive improvement, huge improvement. We have, like, we have increased by a lot in here, at least by 75% more for basically lime, syngas, a solid fuel of some sort, and heavy oil added in here. So this, this would definitely be worth doing if you devoted yourself to going all the way up to centering, but of course, centering is unlocked at utility science. Which means you're almost at the end of the game and have space science. Which means you've almost beaten the game at this point. Beaten uh, the pie suite. If you get to this point, sure, you get loads of loads of plates. But will you really need to by this point? Because you probably already have enough complete the game, especially of aluminium. So with all of that said, and all of that shown off, I of course would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Showboat. If you have been enjoying the tutorials thus far, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, I do stream at twitch.tv slash otaku showboat, so go on over there to leave a follow to be notified when I go live on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyanodon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. I will, of course, see you all on the next one.